morning, my name is Simon. Um, thank you for the introduction, Robin. I'm from Johannesburg. I have uh, a radio show on 5FM where we talk about technology every Thursday. Um, I'm also the technology editor at Finweek magazine, uh, and I have a company called Massive Gap that I'm uh, running at the moment, where we are starting to look at some of the really exciting things that are happening in technology at the moment, um, and where the big opportunities that they're creating uh, lie. So we're able to put chips in absolutely everything right now. Um, and an example of this that's pertinent at the moment is NFC technology, near field communications. Um, this can be used in financial systems. And when you bring a mobile phone that's NFC enabled uh, near this chip, it's able to um, sort of pick up that signal and then present you with a website or a link to an application. According to Ericsson, I spoke to their CEO when he was out in South Africa earlier this year. He reckons there'll be 50 billion connected devices by 2020. Gordon Moore, one of the founders of the Intel Corporation, made an observation starting around 1965. And for the last four decades, we found out that Moore was right and that his law has held steady. And that it wasn't only processors that were getting more powerful and less expensive every year, but just about everything in technology. 2013 is the big year. That's the year of the tornado. Whenever new technology is introduced, it first is used by the innovators and then the early adopters. At the end of last year, we had two and a half million unique broadband users. We're talking their ADSL and 3G. If you combine them all and then you separate out the people who have more than one of those services, because many people have ADSL and 3G. And this is the ultimate impact it has on the number of internet users in South Africa. The bottom line is that the employee, the consumer, the tourist has been reinvented and the organization must follow. Thank you very much.